it is my face. And I feel like I look a little crazy right now because I have my base makeup on. Um, but yeah, I'm coming at you with a 80s bouncy inspired makeup look. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a makeup look, but here we are. Let's get into it. First things first though, my nails are in fact also bouncy inspired. Um, I did purple and green and this is also the color motif I'm going to do for my makeup look. So I want this to be a bit of a chatty video because I normally do voiceovers for my makeup videos. Um, but I also kind of wanted to tell a little story of my fan call. Um, so the, the makeup look I'm going to do now is the one that I wanted to do for my fan call, but ended up not doing for various reasons, um, which I want to talk about. Um, but first things first, I already said I have my base makeup done, but um, yeah, basically I feel like this is going to be a rather simple look, but I want to put gems all over my mouth which will make it not simple. But the eyes are gonna be simple. And I'm also gonna do the, um, the sun bouncy across my neck. I also want to do that. Um, but yeah, let's start with the eyes. So I'm going to take one of my broken palettes. I realized I wanted like a lime, like, like a, a really bright fucking green. Um, and I don't really have that, which is kind of sad. I have, I feel like I have every color under the sun of eyeshadows, but I don't have a bright fucking green. So the brightest green I have is from the, um, Aura and Out ColourPop palette. It is broken. But I'm gonna take the middle shade, which is Fresh Cut. And I'm kind of just gonna, gonna focus this on my inner corners and really blow it out and make it obnoxious. Um, and then I'm gonna do some white liner stuff um a la yo songs one of yo songs makeup looks um the makeup for this comeback i really really like the little makeup touches they've done for this comeback um so yeah i'm kind of picking and choosing little things that i like here and there so a white liner that yo song had for one of his looks i was very inspired by that so i wanted to do something for that but first, which brush do I want? Okay, so yeah, we're just going to take this, the only kind of bright green color that I have, which I feel like is so sad. Now I feel like I need to go and buy bright green. Well, you know, it's pretty bright. Okay, so we're focusing it in the inner corner and then I'm going to smoke it out. That was too much. I put too much down. I didn't want to do that. Basically, I want my inner corners to look like Yo Song's highlighter hair <laughs> that he's got going on right now. Also, not only am I going to bring it like pretty far up to my brow bone, but I'm also going to bring it underneath my eyes too. Um, yeah, I just want, you know, a lot, a lot of color right in the center. Okay, I think... That is in a good spot for now. I will probably add more later. Yeah, okay, it's in a good spot for now. Okay, so next, let's figure out the liner situation. Because the most tedious part of this like I said before, it's it's very they're simple, um, but the gems on the lips will just be um, a bit of a tedious task to get done. 
Um, and this, the lips I was not going to do for my fan call. I was just going to do the eyes um, and then just put like purple lipstick on. So I'm using purple gemstones on my lips. Um, and it is kind of to mimic Songhua's grills. So I'm kind of, I'm, the, the bouncy across the neck is picked from Sun. The white liner is picked from Yosong. And then the inspiration for the grills um, are from Songhua. So those are my three little inspirations um but yeah like i have a, a lime green um, which does not match the green i use in my eyes but it doesn't matter um, but for the white liner i am with my good old suva beauty hydro liner that's what i use i really love these liners um and then i'm also using very very tiny brush Yes, it is a very, it's also from Suva Beauty, it is a very, very, very small brush. Um, and yeah, just, it's water activated, so that's what I do. Um, so yeah, I guess I will get into my fan call story a little bit. So like I said, I was going to do this for my fan call, um, but I ended up wake, waking up late that morning, and I missed when Makestar first called me. They actually called me twice. I missed both both calls. So um, I was freaking out. I thought that I had lost my chance because the Makestar, or like these um, companies, they call you ahead of time to verify your um, ID. That's how Makestar does it. I think Evelyn just like, you just message them a picture of your ID. But Makestar calls you and you're on camera with them and they check to make sure you are who you say you are um yeah and i miss those calls and if they don't do an ID, id check it says online in the rules like then you can't participate so i i was freaking out and i thought i missed my opportunity i was like i already fucked this up i didn't even get to talk to hong jun yet and i already fucked it up so yeah i my, the anxiety and adrenaline running through my body at 4 a.m <laughs> was ridiculous um so yeah, I ended up just doing a normal base makeup and just like mascara and called it a day, which is fine. Um, but I just wanted to do something a bit more elaborate because during my call, um, I showed Hong Joon the different um, like makeup looks that I've done inspired by AT song over the years. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to do like an elaborate makeup look to go along with the elaborate makeup looks I was showing him. Um, but yeah, it didn't really work out that way. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that, that's my story time. Alright, so finally, I, sorry, it takes, I can't, I can't multitask, I have to do one thing at a time. But basically, I've just been, it takes a little bit, um, for, like, the water activation to really, like, at least for me, to build it up to the consistency I want. So that's what I was just doing the whole time while I was talking. Um, just taking the water and like dipping it in with my brush and just building it up and coating my brush uh, a lot so that's what I got going on right now so I think I'm gonna do a bit more of an elaborate eye look because the liner they did on Yosong was subtle um, but like I, I like it though because it is actually very good for hooded eyes so if you have hooded eyes this works a lot it's basically like like a flick of the liner on the outer corner and then like a little flick in, on the inner corner and then I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm probably going to connect like a bit of a line near my brow bone just to you know make it a little bit more dramatic because that's what I do so going to use the outer corner of my eye as a guide and I'm actually not like his didn't connect the way they did it it was really just like a floating line on the outer corner a floating line in the inner corner so I am going to mimic that because I like it makes things easier you know I think I like that, so that's the base. Let's do the other side. I'm like breathing hard. 
because you gotta concentrate when you do these things. All right, let's try to match the other side now, which is always the struggle. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, so now I'm gonna just make these lines a tad bit thicker, because again, we like drama. Um, So again, kind of mimicking the, the floating vibe, I want to do a little bit of a swoop by my brow bone, but still have it floating. Um, I don't want to connect anything. Maybe I'll do a straight line right under my brow bone. I think I'm gonna do a straight line. Yeah, 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 I like that, okay. the cat trying to get into the room. Now, let's do the liner on the inner corner. So this is just kind of like a, the cat eye trend, um, but it's just gonna be a little flick in the inner corner. I'm not connecting it to make a triangle. This doing my inner corner stresses me out though. Not even. <laughs> I also messed up a little bit. All right, I think that's good. And then I do kind of want to add some lime green on the outer corner. I'm wondering if I want to go in between. I'm thinking in between might look cool. I'm kind of creating just like geometric shapes here. A, a la cyberpunk-esque. It's very, I think the makeup was very inspired by um, cyberpunk motifs, which tracks. Um, so I'm just building up a little bit of the green that we used on a small little shader brush. Not too much. And then I'm just going to go in between and kind of build a line in between the white shapes that I got going on here. I might need a different, a different brush. I don't know if you can really notice that though because it's kind of close to my skin color. Do want to add glitter? Maybe I'm just wondering where I want to add the glitter. You know. Yeah. What if I do like a little bit here, maybe a little bit on the. Mm, that's an idea. Cameron, that's an idea. So I'm doing, I'm building like a line. Oh, I got a big old chunk. Now I want to bring a little bit of that glitter on the outside. 
kind of lay it down in the shape that I had set up already. So next, I'm going to start on the lips, I believe. Actually, should I do the neck first? So the neck is gonna be a little hard, to be honest, because I don't know, probably gonna wanna mark it out first. Um, started over far enough. P e O U and yeah, no 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 I gotta start further over. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, you can always wipe it off if it looks a mess. wrinkles though. <laughs> All things considered, at least, bouncy is a pretty easy word to spell. <laughs> There's not a lot of complicated. Am I doing this the right way? No, it needed to be this way, right? I need to do it this way because I'm reverse in my viewfinder. Oh my, I did it the wrong way. Wasted time redoing that. Um, place to dry. I'm trying to fill it in. No, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna check with my sister that it looks okay, but <laughs> when I first came out to her, she was like, Why did you ask me before you took it off if it was the correct way? And I was like, Because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't think about these things. Oh, uh, okay. So now um, I'm actually going to do I'm getting a little oily. I want um, kind of purple blush. I think I'm going to put like purple here and kind of sweep it up a little bit. Oh my! I need to just throw this palette out. Look at this palette. I've been hanging on to it. It broke while I was traveling. And I was very sad about it because I do love this palette and it's not in stock anymore. But I need to just toss it, I think. I think it's officially dead. But what I'm gonna do is take a little purple in here. Actually, this one's a bit fluffier. Okay. Actually, let me do like mix of there's like a pale blue and a pale purple I'm kind of a mix of both of those very very lightly 
start kind of centering it here, sweep it up. See, I'm scared this is gonna make me look like I'm a little bit bruised, but I just want like a bit more purple tint around my eyes. Sweep it up. And I can also use, I need to diffuse this, it's a bit too much. Um, I can also use um, a purple tinted highlighter, which I, I will. I want to just focus a little bit more. Oh, that was too much. I need to diffuse that. Abort, abort. I also feel like this, there's a bit of a trend to bring eyeshadow like below your um, bottom lash line and kind of like onto your cheeks a little bit. So I feel like this is kind of playing into that trend a little bit. And then I'm also going to take the green again and do a little bit more green underneath. I like, I've always liked a, a smoky under eye and it's mainly just because I have hooded eyes. So I feel like for me, using, you know, the real estate underneath my eyes is always better. The lighting I just realized it's probably drastically changed because it's gotten significantly darker outside because it is going to storm. Okay. It does look a little um, alien-esque now, I think. <laughs> Again, not necessarily a bad thing. I don't really dislike it. I think I need to add the highlighter though, which is really just glitter, but it has like a oh yes, sorry I just love glitter. <laughs> I just love glitter so much. Oh yes. Yeah, so this glitter has like a blue and, or not blue, purple and green shift to it. So very much perfect for this. Kind of looks like I'm going to raid actually. <laughs> Again, not necessarily the vibe I wanted, but I don't dislike it. I feel like, yeah, this is kind of like raidy makeup. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now is the lips. And the question is, do I do I put purple lipstick down first? And then gems on top? I think so. I think I need to. This shade Fenty Beauty. This is more of a periwinkle. Mm. This is darker in my head. I thought I had a darker purple. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, this is the one I was thinking about. Okay. Oh, I 
can solve now. I do have a darker purple. Also from Fenty Beauty. Yes, this one. I knew it. I was like, I knew I had one. Yes, this is what I want. This is the bouncy purple. My lips are a bit dry now. Okay. It's a little rough, but like I said, I'm gonna be covering it in gems. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're fine, Erin. <laughs> Okay, so I think these, oh my god, the rain. Oh yes, this is, these are the Barney colors. We love to see it. Okay, so. Really, I think once the gems are on my face, it'll like tie everything together. about I because I'm gonna film the reels and I need to lip sync now eyelashes which I'm gonna do off camera because I can never do them I realized as I was measuring out lashes and putting mascara on that I never really finished my fan call story from earlier um kind of just talked about all the drama that was happening but I did, in fact, get to do Donna Hong Jin. I don't know if I, that was clear. Um, Meg Star did call me back because I was frantically mes messaging them, like, call me back, confirm my identity, I'm right here. Um, two hours later, they did call me back. Um, I was waiting for a long time. Um, it was like they called me originally around 3 30, and then they didn't call me back until 5 30, and then my call wasn't until 7 30. In the morning <laughs> so yeah it was a long time um but yeah, it worked out thank god uh, i did not fuck up my first fan call <sighs> it was stressful though and i was up hella early and i couldn't fall back asleep because it was like 7 30 after i talked to him so i was like i can't go back to sleep now <laughs> i have to like start my day um but yeah anyway on mascara and I'm gonna put on lashes and then I need to do my hair I'm gonna do two braids and two space bones I think also uh, furthering the kind of alien vibe a little bit I don't know I'm kind of just like I'm in like a uh, Like I'm in like fifth element or something. <laughs> That's the vibe. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Hair is done. I was gonna do braids into the buns, but it's my hair is not cooperating, so just the little space buns. And I mean I already have this shirt on. This is the shirt I made for the concert last year. And yeah, so now I am going to film um, my reels, do a, you know, the makeup transition challenge thing, and then I'm gonna take photos, and I gotta do, you know, my outro slow-mo thing, classic beauty YouTuber. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the finished look. I think it's giving very, like, brave, like I said. Also kind of punk, like I'm feeling a little punk right now, which I don't hate. Um, yeah, what do I think? 
hello i have a light right here um i'm about to take some photos i just filmed the bouncy challenge thing like so many times hopefully one of those takes is good enough and i can use it um and yeah so i hope you liked this makeup video i hope you like this makeup look it was fun more simple <laughs> compared to other stuff i've done it was still fun uh, this was tedious though um, and yeah, look forward to, um, the My Bouncy Challenge video. <laughs> I don't do challenges, but anyway, look forward to that. And I will see you guys in the next one.